on behalf of Tom and Joyce, I'd like to welcome everyone here today for this joyous celebration. During our time together, they, jo Tom and Joyce will declare their love for God and for one another, and they so appreciate you being here today. Let's pray a prayer of preparation. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for the power of your love that brings people together, Lord. It's always about bringing people in to that love. So thank you for, first of all, giving your greatest love gift, Jesus, for our lives. And then, Lord, thank you so much for the spirit of love that moves and has its way in our hearts as we allow it. Just pray a blessing over Tom and Joyce today and the entire family and friends gathered here. In Jesus' name, amen. I'd like for everyone who's a part of Tom and Joyce's family to rise for just a minute. In your places, you just stand in your place, please. All right. Um, wedding uh, celebration is about love, but it's also about family. And I want to thank you for being here today. Um, there's a blending coming together here in this family, and Tom and Joyce have found each other, and they desire the support of all of you. So I'm going to ask for you, do you pledge to honor and support their marriage, and will you be there in the days ahead to share in the love and the joy with them? If so, please respond by saying, we will. We will. There you go. You need to get your bride up here. Thank you, Neil. Tom and Joyce have asked that we take a moment to honor the memory of their loved ones who have preceded them to heaven. And so they will light a candle to honor the spirit of that love. called the Declaration of Intent. I'm going to start with you, Tom. All right. Now before the omniscient God and in the presence of these witnesses, will you, Tom, take Joyce to be your wedded wife? Will you love and comfort her? <clears throat> Honor her, keep her in joy and sorrow, preserve with her this bond, holy and unbroken, until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ or as long as you both shall live? If so, please respond by saying, I will. I will. Okay. I've got to make sure I this. And now before the omniscient God, Joyce, will you um, take Tom to be your wedded husband, and will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in joy and in sorrow, preserve with him this bond, holy and unbroken, until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, or as long as you both shall live? If so, please respond by saying, I will. Oh, yes, please, I will. <laughs> <laughs> The Apostle Paul reminds us that love is patient and it's kind. Love is not jealous, it's not boastful, it's not prude, proud, and it's never rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable. It keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but it rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up. It never loses faith. It is always hopeful, and it endures through every circumstance. Love is a covenant. It's a promise. God makes a promise with us. He says if we will love him with all of our hearts, our souls, our minds, our strength, and we will turn and love our neighbors, we can abide in that love. And we just talked about that this morning. That love is available for human beings to carry and to exchange. And he wants us to make a covenant with one another in that love. And so today you're going to do that. Are you ready to make a covenant of love, a vow before a holy God that you will love one another as best you can in the work of the Spirit the way he has laid out for us to love one another? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Yes, I will. Yes, yes, you heard it. All right. <laughs> so <clears throat> you're going to repeat after me. and I'm going to hold this for you. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Take you, Joyce. Take you, Joyce. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I don't think we're working here. <coughs> working. I don't know. 
talk loud. <laughs> Try it again. I, Tom. I, Tom. Take you, Joyce. Take you, Joyce. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. With, <clears throat> with deepest joy. With deepest joy. I receive you into my life. I receive you into my life. That together we may be one. That together we may be one. I take you now. I take you now. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poor. For richer for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. And hereto I pledge my faithfulness. And hereto I pledge my faithfulness. All right. Take, here, let me take this. Hold his hand. Thank you. <laughs> now you. Okay. We ready? I am. I, Joyce, take you, Tom. I, Joyce, take you, Tom. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. With deepest joy. With deepest joy. I receive you into my life. I receive you into my life. That together we may be one. That together we may be one. I take you now. I take you now. To have and to hold. From this day forward, from this day forward for, better, for, worse, for better for worse, for richer for poor, for richer for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, till death do us part, according to God's holy word, according to God's holy word, I hear too, I hear too, I pledge my faithfulness, I pledge my faithfulness. All right, let's go ahead. I'm sorry, that's not working. We're going to exchange rings. I'm going to put that ring on Joyce's finger and repeat after me. <laughs> it's all good. It's beautiful. Okay. Joyce, this ring I give to you. Joyce, this ring I give to you. In token and in pledge. In token and in pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. There you go. Tom, this Tom, ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. In token and in pledge. In token and in pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. I'd like for you uh, to invite Karen to come and sing, and I'd love for you to stand, and you can watch and enjoy that. So you can join her on that side, Tom. There you go. Father, thank you for this sacred time as you form a holy covenant between Tom and Joyce. May their loyalty to marriage mirror your love and your faithfulness to all of your children. I pray you will give Tom and Joyce unforgettable moments filled with joy, 
unselfish motives, devotion for one another. As their love for you and one another grows, keep their faith strong, their spiritual formation vibrant. May they visualize their marriage as more than just a union of two lives, but as two disciples on a mission for you, Lord. May their lives in you be a beacon of inspiration to others. In Jesus' name, amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now this morning in our worship time, we came to the table of the Lord, and you both decided you wanted to wait to receive that together as the first act after your covenant was been made. It's very special, very, very special. And each one of us here that are part of the family of God, we celebrate that for you. And we wouldn't want to leave anyone out, but we can all bow our heads and we can confess our need for God and we can enjoy the celebration that you too alone will take. So let's pray again. Lord, we pray a blessing over the elements that Joyce and Tom will take. And may they grow in their understanding of what it means to be your body and the, the fruit of your love in this world. In Jesus' name, amen. the book of Ecclesiastes and he reminds people that life was never to be lived apart it was never to be lived apart from a relationship with God and with other people and Jesus offered himself on the cross in order to make that possible that we would have a relationship with God and during your ceremony here, you're going to um, practice, really, um, a visual example of what it means to be bound together with Jesus Christ. I'd like to read what Solomon said. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other person can reach out and help, but someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm. But how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three, three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. This is called a unity cord cross. It serves as a visual example of when two Christ followers come together in marriage, are bound together in the covenant with Jesus Christ. That three-chord strand is you, Tom, you, Joyce, and Jesus. So I'm going to invite you to complete the unity cross, but I want people to be able to see it. So pick it up. Tom, you want to hold it? And Joyce.
for as much as Tom and Joyce have consented in this holy union and this covenant, and we've witnessed it before God and one of us, we have witnessed it. You've pledged your faith to each other and to God. You've declared your love. You've joined your hands. You've made vows, and you have shared rings. So by the power invested in me by God and God alone, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride, Tom. <laughs> I'm going to turn around. I now pronounce to you Joyce and Tom Guerin. <laughs> yeah, you go. You go. Be careful. Yeah, just be careful. <laughs> Toast to the new couple, bride and groom. Toast to a, a long, uh, many, many years of a wonderful relation. I can't think of it, any uh, better people, a match. These, these two have, have proven past devotions to their partners. And this one, this, this is a good one. Go that way around. 
There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that was dainty. <laughs> I had a promise not to do that. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Hey, Joyce and Tom, we love you. We're so glad to be able to be here, to be here for your special day, the start of your new life together. And um, I told you, Joyce, I wouldn't miss it if you got married. So we wish you all the best and hope that you have all the happiness and love to be following. Tom, it was finally great to meet you. I heard so much about you. And my only disappointment in this trip is I didn't get a chance to ride on a motorcycle with you. So I'll have to come back for that. We love you guys. Hey there, it's great to be here. This is a wonderful experience. Super celebration. We're very happy for both of you. And Tom, you got a great woman now. We've known her for close to 50 years. So, And she's got a pretty good guy too, doesn't she? So congratulations to both of you. We're really very happy for you. We love you both. And we look forward to seeing you this summer in Maine. And Joyce, yeah. maybe we'll play golf again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Dad. Hey, Joyce. Uh, congratulations to both of you. Um, very, very happy that you both are together. And Joyce, welcome to the Aaron family. And I'm looking forward to many memories ahead. Congratulations. Okay. You want to add anything? Hi, Dad. Hey, Joyce. I love you both. You both look so happy together, and I'm so happy for you. I wish you many, many years of love and happiness together. Welcome to the family, Joyce. Hi, Joyce and Tom Guerin. Um, I thank you so much for being a good father-in-law, Tom. For about 40 years, we've known each other. Um, you haven't judged me. And uh, the short, short time I've known Joyce, I don't see any judgmental things. I know you guys are going to have a wonderful life together. I see Tom happier than I've seen him in years. And I don't know Joyce, but she seems very happy. I love you both so, so much. And I thank you for today. And I thank you for inviting us. And God bless both of you all the rest of your life. Maybe you have a healthy and a prosperous life. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations, Joyce and Tom. We are so happy to be a part of your new and budding relationship and now your uh, long and happy marriage. Congratulations. Love you. Anytime. Congratulations, Congratulations, Tom and Joyce. Congratulations, Tom and Joyce. Yeah. Best Very wishes happy. to you guys. Very happy. Best wishes for a long and happy marriage. Love you guys. Let me congratulate the bride and groom, Joyce and Tom, for a beautiful ceremony. Wonderful, wonderful people. I can't think of two people that should be together other than them at this point. They are so happy. I. Uh, I can't praise them and say nice things about them. They just love them. Ditto. <laughs> Joyce and Tom, congratulations to both of you. You're so happy together. You're an inspiration for other people because you're so happy. So nice and wonderful to see you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congrats, kids. You did good. Bye.